it's all on video and he already hems us up enough and it's all on video yeah it's a problem and he shows his badge and says i'm a cop and everything from there you see him leave his driveway and go into the street and then attack jeremiah yes all on video what are you sir, doing sir Dude. sir i mean you should watch the video he looks crazy charging at him in the middle of the street it being on video is yeah it's a problem he's got the whole thing on video oh boy jeremiah was in the street he came over and said put your hands behind your back you can see his phone get tossed i mean i don't know why one of the things you can go about get the rest of people for no reason yeah it's a problem and then he comes at him and you can literally see the scuffle on camera the whole camera like starts shaking and crap his daughter's screaming and crying and he said he had his knee on the back of his neck It's all on video, and he already hems us up enough, and it's all on video. Yeah, it's a problem. On December 11th, 2022, a couple and their young daughter were walking through a neighborhood on their way back from the grocery store. As they walked past the residence of 400 Eagle Trail in Springfield, Illinois, the little girl accidentally dropped a bag of candy in the road. The resident of 400 Eagle Trail came out of the house and yelled at the couple to come back and pick up their trash. As the mother picks up the candy, she thanks the man for letting them know they dropped it, as her daughter would have been pretty sad when she got home that her candy was missing. The man then flashed a badge and told the couple that he's a cop and he wants them out of their neighborhood. Due to the fact that he identified as a cop and flashed a badge, the man passing takes out his phone and starts recording, while asking for his name and the department that the alleged officer works for. The man identifying as an officer then walks out into the street and attacks the man recording, telling him that he's under arrest. The man identifying as a cop then calls 911, tells the dispatcher that the man recording is armed and threatening him. This is the newly released body cam footage from Officer Alyssa Giannantonio, where she repeatedly tells supervisors that she's going to have to arrest the cop because there's a problem. His crime was caught on camera. My badge. My badge. I live in this house right here, mm -hmm. off-duty metro. They, they're coming through and they threw trash in another person's yard and they threw trash in my yard. So I, I confronted him. Mm -hmm. I was actually being really nice to him and his wife and asked him to just pick it up and go. And then he starts filming me and yelling at me. So I approached him and we got in a little tussle. It's all on video, just, don't lie because you're going to see it. It's all on video. And now it, it just got to a point where I was like, I got to call you guys out here. So. Mm -hmm. That's where we are. Mm -hmm. I don't want to prosecute or anything like that. I really just wanted to leave. But like, mm -hmm. when it got to the point of like us doing this, I've been trying to talk with him. I haven't had a whole lot of love. Okay. Yeah, okay. Just homeless and yeah. you know, disadvantaged. Yeah, I pull out my phone and ask him if he's your badge number. Fucking attack. Like I ain't trying to turn this into like a YouTube thing. Or, you know, whatever. He seems like a good guy. He's got, what's that? Well, you're about to be famous, okay. dude. Ask them. They know who I am. What's he do? Um, he's, he's just, uh, he's like, he's just, uh, 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 All oh, because I pulled my phone out and asked him he, for his he, name and badge look, number. I'm not joking. And you can see on the video, he charges at me, throws me to the ground. He said, right you're under arrest. Driveway. I'm putting you in handcuffs. And Threw my I phone. Him on, yeah. Yeah. Had me, he had his knee in my Kyle's throat. bag of candy as we were walking, He had his knee in my Kroger. throat. One, hold on, one at a time, okay? Sorry. We were no, you're walking fine. to Kroger and I accidentally dropped Skyler's candy. He thought I dropped her trash in his like out of the edge of his came out. Right. And I said, no, I'm sorry. It's actually her bag of candy. I didn't mean to drop it. So I picked it up and he said, okay. Well, the next time, it, I don't know. It just kind of went from one thing to the pulled, next. Because he identified I know, he as a cop. So I said, so what is your name and badge number if you're mm -hmm. a cop? And uh, that's when he pulled out something out of his pocket. I guess it's that badge he's holding. Mm -hmm. And ran well, towards me, badger. threw I mean, me down on the ground. Yeah, maybe he's a cop. I don't know. Put his knee. In my throat, yeah. literally had me down on the ground. Yeah, that is true. 
Oh, because I asked for his name and badge number. Danny Penn said he was going to have him arrested and taken to jail, and I'm like, I, so I want to press what? charges on him. I have it on video. Is he really? A Would you like to see it? And I don't think you can. Yes, sir. I don't know if you can really arrest him. I, I, you should put your hands. Just on because he's a cop, me. he don't have qualified he's immunity. Himself. Keep your hands to yourself. <laughs> All over a bag of candy that I picked up yeah, that I did I not mean to drop, hat. and I even apologized that I dropped it. Yeah. I didn't even know I dropped it. Yes, mm -hmm. We're just trying to. We were just trying to cut through and walk to Kroger. Yeah. Yeah, we were coming from Walmart. I'm just trying to go to the grocery store. I have to get something to drink, and then... Oh, yeah, I had to get something to drink, and I dropped the bag of candy. That's... Here. You're Hold heavy. on, my Bluetooth is on. You're really heavy, sorry. Sorry, I mean, I'm kind of shaky because I was just, not you know... Not excitement, I swear. You're fine, you don't have to apologize. I asked him for name and badge number. Is the volume? It looks like volume cut. Yeah, I don't know what happened to it. See? It looks like he grabbed the phone. Dude, he grabbed He's got me on the ground. He's got him on the ground pinned down. Like, literally, like, had him, like... That's where he threw my phone now. He's got his... He's got me... You know how y'all maneuver. Cops take people down, put their knee in their fucking chest and throat. That's what he did to me. like, pinned... Down to where, like, but you see, I room. was doing nothing. I was standing in the road. I I said, "What is does, your name and badge number?" Does the volume do that? Time? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what happened. Well, I was screaming the whole time. I'm still like, get off my daddy. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know. Yeah. I'm feeling dude, get off my. Even oh, if that's you, that was not nice. Even if you are a cop, if you're off duty, why are you pinning people across the road over a bag of candy that didn't mean to get dropped? Like. Yeah, it was an accident. And we weren't even in his yeah, ride. I video, the volume was working. Uh, yeah, the bag goes. of candy got dropped yeah, in the middle of the road. Yeah, you're He's got his knee in my chest, literally all his body weight pushing in my throat. All over a bag of candy. All because I pulled out my phone and said, what if you're a cop, what is your name and badge number? All right. So, so I want to file charges. Just get tight, okay? Just stand over here. If you guys want to grab your stuff, okay. bring it over here. All right. Just a second, okay. okay. I do want to press charges. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. He's got the whole thing on video. Oh boy. Jeremiah was in the street. He came over and said, put your hands behind your back. You can see his phone get tossed. And he throws it. Did you talk to him about the rest of it? Who? The right guy. Talk about what? When Jeremiah came on his property first. I haven't. I didn't see any of you that on the video. No, <laughs> we talked to him, oh, but, like, but they weren't on his property when he did that. They were in the middle of the street, and it's on video. He, he literally attacked him. I mean, I don't know why, where he thinks he can go about get the rest of the people for no reason. They weren't on his property when he did that. Yeah. They were actually, like, down where my car is, right over here. I mean, I'm going to believe that, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, I'm, I'm just saying that the being that it's on video, we're going to have a problem here being who he is, too. We're going to have a problem. Cop or not, it, I mean, it's recorded. Yeah, even if you didn't talk to me, you know, you know, you we're going to do a report for him because he's asking oh, yeah. for it. Right. But, he, and I do believe that he's probably going to go get a warrant on him, I'm sure. 7-42, No, I know, because it's on video, but this is what Jeremiah does, and that's what he's, this is exactly what he's been trying to do. Yeah. And this guy let him do it. Well, he Well, yes, he, yes, he does. <laughs> he's a cop. These guys weren't on his property at the time that he just attacked them. Uh, I don't blame him. I, listen, <laughs> regardless, he should know. 7 signal 14. The victim should know if you're being recorded, it's probably going to go somewhere. And they weren't on your property when you just attacked them. They had left. That's the problem I'm having. I'm going to get out of here. I was trying to detain him and arrest him.
chest down for because yes. I asked him to leave. I guess he saw the video. And I just didn't have cuffs on me to put on them, so I just said, all right, I'm going to pop up, and that's when I called 911. Yes, sir. So. Um, so can you go back to the beginning? I know you said you saw him walking so he was in. Had a on, on, on the corner house, pushed the cart around here. I was in my kitchen area. Mm -hmm. I threw a giant bag of trash right here in my front yard. So I came out and said, hey, guys, police, I need you to pick up the trash, and I need you to leave the neighborhood. She came over and they gave me a bunch of, of, of lip, so that's when I showed my badge and I said, guys, I'm police, I need you to get out. That's when he started filming me and you guys picked up from there with the video. So, I'd like to charge him or prosecute him at this point if he wants to make a big deal, but I really just wanted him to leave the neighborhood. Well, they're allowed to be walking on the public road. I mean, yeah. it's not like a gated community. Yeah, but it's, it's littering is a crime too. I mean, yeah, I know. He's homeless, he gets his right, but... Mm, do you have an ID on you, Shay? No, I can go get it, but I can give you my info if you want okay. to. William, W-I-L-L-I-A-M. Thoroughgood, T-H-O-R-O-W-G-O-O-D. Oh, I'm sorry. G-O-O-D. At this point, Officer Gian Antonio knows that the off-duty cop needs to be arrested for felony assault, but she can already tell that her partner isn't going to have the courage to do the right thing. So she grabs her phone and walks away to call a higher-up. She informs one of her higher-ups at the department that she doesn't believe her partner is going to do the right thing and that if he doesn't, she will make the arrest. We don't know whether she was trying to do the right thing because it's the right thing or whether she was just trying to cover her own ass, knowing for a fact that this was going to end up all over the internet. Hey, so I guess he's going to do the report, but he went and attacked this guy when he wasn't even on his property like threw him to, over, to the ground and everything and it's all on video over some trash that they threw in there in his yard but picked up they weren't in his pro on his property when he went after jeremiah at all and it, from there you see him leave his driveway and go into the street and then attack jeremiah yes all on video Yeah. No, he's not. Well, he said that he he was he, he wasn't he didn't think we should arrest for that, but Beasley. That's what I'm saying. But you might it being on video is yeah it's a problem and he shows his badge and says i'm a cop and everything and he was trying to arrest him in the middle of the street yes 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 yeah but He told him to get his hands and put him behind his back and Jeremiah is filming as, as he always does and then he comes at him and you can literally see the scuffle on camera. The whole camera like starts shaking and crap, his daughter's screaming and crying and he said he had his knee on the back of his neck. <laughs> mm-hmm, yeah. Yeah, that's, I'm having a problem with this because it's all on video and he already hems this up enough and it's all on video and he wants to prosecute and I truly I don't blame him I don't blame him so call Joe Mack and I guess call Brown because if he doesn't arrest him I'm gonna have to take over and do it because I have a problem with that because he literally told us I was trying to detain him but I didn't have cuffs on me that's what he said that, no you're trying to yeah please Thank you. When she turns back around to make the arrest, this is what's happening. This particular part of the incident is easier to see and hear from Jeremiah's point of view. 
Jeremiah. Is that your name? Mm -hmm. Okay. Detective William Thorogood with Metro Police. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm not trying to hurt you. Don't want to scare you. I'm really sorry for the confrontation I had in front of your child. Okay? I feel really bad about that. And I just want to apologize to you. So I am sorry for upsetting your kid, especially around the holiday season. So. Yeah, because she's never going to forget that now. And she's going to look at cops as pieces of shits because of you. You're absolutely right. I'm taking that into consideration. Apologize to you. I try to teach my kid that not all cops are bad. There are good cops, and then you come out and do shit I'm like that. To be a good one, so I... Please just hear me out, okay, Jeremiah? All right, can you hear me out? I hear you. All right. Let me just swallow my pride here and say I apologize for upsetting you and your family, okay? Thank you. That, 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 that's can... what I'm trying to say. Would you like to end it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not going to take for you guys during the holidays. I'm going to go season, get him okay? the nugget. So, I try to be man enough and apologize, which is a hard thing for cops to do. Mm -hmm. And I just hope that you know, <laughs> you'll you be your man enough to accept my apology. Yeah. It's okay? hard I just like didn't it. like the litter in my yard. That's yeah. all. That's all. She didn't mean to drop it, but to it really go to that extent, because I pulled out my phone and asked you for your name and badge number, really? Come on now. That, 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 that's being, no, I, I get that. No, he's right. No, but on, that's being a tyrant. Jeremiah, listen to me. Do you not agree with that? 100% you're right and I apologize and I want you to understand how hard it is for me to Oh, I know how hard it is for cops. I know I'm a first amendment auditor. I know that. All right, well, that's, we need more people like you in this world I'll extend my hand to you if you're man enough to shake it. Oh, I'm man enough to shake your hand Yeah, I mean I'm still gonna post a video though. I mean it, that's your legal right. I'm yeah. not gonna stop you from doing that. Yeah. Yes, sir. At this time, Jeremiah claimed that he didn't want to press charges against the off-duty cop. He just wanted to post the video to YouTube to show the world what happened. Jeremiah told me that as he was leaving, Detective Thorogood shoved something into Jeremiah's pocket while asking him to please not post the video on social media. Jeremiah claims that when he reached into his pocket, he found that Thorogood had given him $80. As you can see, he posted the video on social media anyways. While well, at this time, Jeremiah claimed that he didn't want to file charges against Thorogood, two days later, he did go into the district attorney's office and show them his video. The DA then filed two charges against Thorogood for two counts of felony aggravated assault, which will go before a grand jury for indictment on January 18th, 2023 at 9 a.m. Immediately upon returning to work after this incident, Detective Thorogood was decommissioned as a police officer by the Nashville Metropolitan Police Department where he worked. As seen in Jeremiah's original video, which is linked below, Thorogood made a false claim to 911 operators that a homeless man was armed and advancing towards him. Since the video contradicted the detective's false report, his integrity has been called into question and jeopardized all of the past and current cases that he's working on. I mean, you should watch the video. He looks crazy charging at him in the middle of the street. Put your hands behind your back. Sir? Sir? What the fuck are you Sir? doing? Sir. 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 Sir.